Hello everyone, Felix here with Gurney's and I'm talking to you today a little bit about Carmine Jewel Bush Cherry which is a wonderful new cherry variety from the University of Saskatchewan that you can get here at Gurney's and we've planted this one in a whiskey barrel container for on a patio or if you don't have a lot of space um, or good soil to plant in you can put it in a container like this and it's really the ideal volume for growing one of these bush cherries soil and root mass versus what you're going to be able to produce here and this plant was just three years old and growing quite nicely you can see that we've trained it a little more as a small tree in this patio where we haven't we're not initiating a number of limbs real low but training it up a little bit and you can really focus this tree's growth any way you want to have it be within your landscape ours is this little mini tree here so to speak and it's not it's going to get probably another you know three feet of growth on it the carmine jewel they grow to about six feet tall and this one's like i said only three years old but we do have some fruit bud development on it already so you can see here at the tips of these branches these fat buds are going to turn into flowers as the season progresses versus these lower buds here which are just vegetative in nature so we're going to get our first flowering season off of this carmine on, in its third leaf here. As far as the care tip in the dormant season, this is early spring right now, there's one limb here in the back that had a little bit of dieback last season. It's also got some crossing over here so it's not really serving our purpose so we're going to cut it out to open up the framework here a little bit on this, this tree. So just taking this one limb out, everything else, there's a little stub cut here that's remaining, we'll cut that flush. Um, otherwise, it's looking great, and we're looking forward to the fruiting season here on this Carmine Jewel. Just an idea of how you might be able to grow this if you don't have a lot of landscape space or if you want to have a fruiting plant on your landscape. Thanks very much. Join us next time.